Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a quick little review of the old Dell D Latitude D620. This is a nice old laptop. It was actually my first laptop. Um, since then I've pretty much just had desktops and another shitty Dell. So, this machine was made in 2006. It features, came with good old Windows XP and had a Centrino Duo, Centrino Duo processor at 1.8 gigahertz. So, pretty much a dual core, 1.8 gigahertz. You get phones that are 1.5 gigahertz now. Came with a six cell, oh, other way. Six cell um, battery. This isn't the default one, but um, it's just a replacement. Um, right there, you have your little um, push button thing, which tells you the status of the battery. This battery's dead, so yeah. So let's take a look at the I/O on this machine. First off, you have your battery hole and a SIM card slot. Second, we've got a DVD drive and CD drive rewritable and two USB, I believe they're 2.0 ports. I think. I think they were even USB 1 or something. Pretty sure they were USB 1. They were low power USB 2, if any. Next, you have your Ethernet out, modem out, believe it or not. Um, two USB 2.0 ports. I know they were 2.0 for a fact. A good old serial port, if you remember it. A VGA out. And a AC in. The AC in, this isn't the actual power supply that came with it. It's a 90 watt uh, new Dell power supply. Yes, it, run, it can run off a 90 watt power supply. It came with one of them as well. Stand one 60 watt. And then your intake, no, your outtake grill. And then on the other side here, I set that down. You have your little Wi-Fi on and off rocker, infrared port, a headphone and audio jack. Actually, you also have your PCI Express slot and your little smart card reader for businesses. See smart card up there. And Kensington lock and intake. Vents also on the back as well. Yeah, the, this little um, intake, the little uh, port here is for a dock. You used to be able to dock, but you still can now dock this in, and it has like an extra four USB ports, more serial ports, a DVI port, etc. And yeah. So now on to the interior of this unit. I actually don't have the measurements, but if, well, it's probably, that's probably around the same thing as an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone to compare it, sorry. Um, also, something interesting, you also have a little uh, fingerprint reader. It actually works quite well, I have to be honest with you. And your standard tactile mouse, uh, smallish trackpad, pretty small trackpad, pretty. It's okay. Like you have a bit of um, if you look at that there, you have a bit of sag, and two more mouse buttons, and a good old removable little trackball thing. So that's just. And goes back on like that. Little oh crap. 
little keyboard, nothing too special. And of course your little classic Dell modeling number. Little caps lock and unlock button. And little media buttons to do volume, mute and power on. 14 inch screen and a little hinge. It's pretty cheap, like if I yeah, like it's very flimsy at the moment. That's because it is six years old or so. So we're going to power on the unit. Now, of course, it's just saying there the AC power, the AC power adapter isn't determined. Let's go and hit F2 to get into the BIOS. Now, BIOS is pretty old in terms of um. BIOSes go. Really shouldn't be showing my service tag, but anyway, doesn't really matter. So the processor ID is, of course, like I said before, the. Hold on, if I can push this. Yeah, it's a bit better. Processor ID is a Core 2 Duo, um, 1.8 gigahertz, the minimum clock speed, so when it's idling is 1 gigahertz. Um, RAM, 2, two gigs of RAM, dual channel memory, DDR2 SD RAM at 660, 667 megahertz. Primary hard disk was 120 gigabyte PATA hard drive, not SATA, not IDE, just PATA. I've never really come across another PATA drive. I, I only really experienced IDE and SATA. Um, the video memory, it was uh, some, oh well, yeah, there yeah, you go, NVIDIA Quadra 110M with 64 megs of video memory. My gaming computer has 3 gigs of graphics memory, so that's how far we've come. Native resolution 1440 by 900. And using Intel wireless. Battery, no battery installed. Battery health not installed. Date and time, date and time. And not much else really. Boot sequence. Onboard devices. Um, I'll just go through these really quickly. Um, security. Just your all that. And your performance, turning on your multi-core, yeah. Your maintenance, uh, just loading defaults and stuff. And docking. Dock device for nothing. Undocking method. Um, hot unlock, so you can just... There you go. And your wireless settings. So, internal Bluetooth, Bluetooth 2.0, I think. Internal Wi Fi. Internal Wi Fi was only G, not N. Cellular, had a, this has a SIM card slot. So, you can put in your SIM card and run off that for wireless. And your, there were your wireless switch options. So, you can turn this little thing right here. Pretty cool. You can choose what that does. Um, pretty much it, really. So if we just hit escape and then enter, I will show you you boot up into Ubuntu. It's actually... I think it's building into Ubuntu. Yeah, by the looks of it, yeah. There we go. So this will now go and boot into Ubuntu. At the moment I'm not really using this as a primary computer. I just thought I'd get it out and have a look. Reload Ubuntu, the new version onto it, and see how it ran. It runs pretty nicely. Like I just hit the little start button and see 
go here and start Chrome. It will load up pretty nicely. Like, it's a good all around little computer. I mean, it's just sitting here, it was sitting in a drawer. That's why the battery's dead. Other than that, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe and like this video.